Hello, y'all. How y'all are tonight? I'm blessed. I really am. Uh, here a while back, I made a, uh, a video about this radio I had bought, this uh, Baofeng UV5R radio. And this is it right here. Okay, well, uh, the first day I had it, I was messing around with it. I was trying to program in some repeater stations and NOAA weather stations and first one thing, thing another. Well, I had got the, uh, the cable that hooks into my computer and then hooks into the radio uh, to download the Chirp information, which is a, a website that has all the like repeater stations and weather stations and marine band stations and first one thing another. So anyway, what I didn't realize on this radio is right here, they have what they call a lockout key. And what that does is like if you're gonna give it to your kids or something, you know, you push that lockout key and they can't accidentally hit one of them keys and change one of your uh, your frequencies or something, you know, and get on some frequency that you're supposed to be on. Well, anyway, I thought I, I thought it was a defective radio, so I sent eBay a, a letter to the guy I bought it from out of China. He sent me back uh, an email saying, I'm sorry for your inconvenience. The lady you got to talk to is, is out for the weekend. She'll be back Monday. It's okay. So the next morning, uh, I got up and I was looking at this radio, you know, and I was looking at all the keys and stuff, and I seen this one. I got looking at the screen, and I seen this right up in the corner. It looked like a little key. I thought, well, let me find out what that was for. Now, I looked in my book, and it said lockout. Well, I looked on the keypad, and I seen that key, and I hit that key. And the key disappeared, and now it's working okay. So I got on e got on uh, eBay again. I sent the guy another letter, and I said, "Look, you know, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. It's my fault. I hit the lockout key. Everything's fine. I appreciate. You know, I like the radio. Yada yada yada." Okay. Well, the next day, the lady sends me an email saying, well, go to this, because the, the book that they give you ain't worth a crap, you know. It doesn't tell you how to program and stuff. So she said, here, go to this website and this website, and then it'll tell you all you need to know. Well, then the next day I get another email saying, we're terribly sorry for your inconvenience, sir, and, and uh, if it's up, if it's okay with you, what we'd like to do is just send you another radio, and you don't have to rese you don't have to send yours back, you know. Just uh, so eBay sent me a letter saying, you know, you've got so many days to uh, dispute this or whatever. If we don't hear back from you, know, it's, we'll consider it solved. So so did I. Well, I went to my mailbox yesterday, and guess what's there? You guessed it. I got two radios. They sent me another one. And it had a letter in it, you know, saying, apologizing, saying, you know, we're sorry for your inconvenience. We hope that this is a satisfactory uh, solution to the problem. Uh, there's no need to send us the old radio back, you know, whatever. So uh, I feel kind of bad. I feel guilty like I should send one back, but hey, you know, if they're going to give it to me, you know, I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight it. You know, I'm, I'm going to fight my conscience and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and accept it. Uh, cause I, I was thinking about buying another one to tell you too. But I'll tell you what, if anybody's out there 
and you're looking for a good little ham handheld radio, Bofang UV5R. This is it, folks. These are good little radios. So if you're looking for one, and they're only like, you can pick them up on sale for around 35 bucks. Uh, you know, if this had been a four five hundred dollar radio, my conscience would have got to better. I mean, I had to send the other one back, but hell, that's only the thirty-five forty dollar radio. But from everything I've seen, these are real good little radios. So anyway, my problem is, I've got the the cable that you hook into your computer and hook into the radio. Okay, you go to chirp. And what it is, it's a website, and they store all these information of, like, NOAA weather stations and uh, marine stations and uh, all these different kind of stations. They, they store all this information, their, their call signs and their this and their that and their that. So uh, you can go there and you can hook your cable up to your computer and then hook it up to your radio and you go to chirp and you, and you hit radio and it's it gives you some options like download uh to radio from radio you hit that and what it does it extracts everything that's in your radio all the settings and stuff and it brings that up to chirp and then if you want to download from Chirp to your radio, like no weather stations or, or uh, repeater stations, uh, local repeater stations or whatever, uh, you can do that. You're supposed to be able to do that. That's the problem I'm having. I can, I can download stuff out of my radio up to Chirp, but when I go to click on the no radio stations and the option saying download from chirp to my radio is grayed out to where I can't use it. So I need to find out if there's anybody out there that knows anything about these little Bofang UV5R radios or chirp. How do I get this download from chirp to my radio, it's grayed out to where I can't use. How do I get that activated to where I can download this information from chirp onto my radio without doing it manually? I I, I can do it manually, but I'd like to be able to do it off of chirp. And, and uh, for for some reason, it's grayed out to where I can't use that option. So anyway, uh, that's that's all I need to know, folks. Uh, I would just like to reiterate from yesterday uh, my sincere apologies to uh, Long 13 Hair. Uh, it was just a bad day. Uh, you know, it's just the old me was was trying to come out again and, and I had to uh, lasso his ass and bring him back. So I apologize for any uh, hurt feelings or anything like that that I caused. So, uh, and I apologize to my subscribers. You know, I got quite a few uh, people saying, well, you know, that was okay, and, and uh, you have days like this. No, it wasn't okay. You know, it's never okay to be that kind of person. Uh, you know, it's, uh, but I used to be that way all the time. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting to, to be a better person. And Well, anyway, I've got, I've got to go, people. So, y'all take care. God bless. I love y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.